Let's begin in the UK in 1985, at the scene of a riot in a housing estate in North London. The first police constables or officers to arrive were met by a growing angry mob that turned on them. Unfortunately, those first officers on the scene didn't have the right rank or decision rights to decide on how to approach this escalating incident from an operational point of view. They had to wait until a more senior officer arrived on the scene, and that took too long. This event was notable for two reasons. Firstly, it was the first murder of a police constable in a riot since 1833 here in the UK. And secondly, because it changed how the Metropolitan Police and later all emergency services respond to critical incidents. They recognized that waiting for the right officer of the right rank to be in the right place at the right time to make the right decision could cost lives. There had to be a better way to respond to these critical incidents to make quick and effective decisions that weren't constrained by rank or availability. So they introduced the bronze, silver, gold command structure. And this allowed for the first officer on the scene to take up bronze or operational command, regardless of how senior he or she was. They would wear a vest showing that they are the bronze commander and their vehicle becomes the forward command unit through which all communications run. The light gets turned on, put on the roof, and all new officers arriving on the scene know to report to that vehicle for an update. And then, when a more senior officer arrives, they take over bronze command. But the first officer who was bronze commander stays with them to ensure continuity. And it works exactly the same for silver or tactical command and gold or strategic command. This decision has been so effective that it's been adopted by all emergency services in the UK. But the question remains, how can a junior officer take control of a large and unfolding incident? How can he or she know what to do, how to take important decisions? Well, the bronze, silver, gold command structure doesn't end there. All officers are trained in how to take decisions on, under conditions of complexity and uncertainty through the use of decision protocols or tools. This empowers them to be more confident in their decisions and trust the judgment and decisions of their fellow officers because they know the process that they would have taken to inform their choices. Back in the corporate world, we might not be emergency personnel facing critical incidents, but similar decision systems help improve the quality of decisions out of decisions and outcomes across large organizations. And importantly, they improve confidence in one's choices and trust between decision makers. Of course, we want to know what goes into these processes. Well, it varies across organizations or teams or government departments, depending on their particular blind spots and required decision outcomes. <laughs>